Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Today, I am so excited to be sharing my summer favorites. I have not done a favorites video in a long time. So, I hope that you enjoy this. Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. I love watching summer favorite videos. Well, I actually watch, love watching favorites videos. I have for a long time. I tend to, if I'm not watching Disney, most of the time I'm watching like lifestyle type YouTube channels. And um, one of my favorites has always been what people enjoy the most things that they might recommend that i actually might look into getting myself but mostly i just enjoy seeing you know what what type of things people are drawn to and what they like so today i thought i would share with you some of my summer favorites um instead of doing like a monthly favorites video i thought i would just kind of share the things that i've used over the summer that have like made a difference in my life But I thought that I would share the few things that have helped keep me through the summer. So we went back to church a month ago and uh, I'll be honest with you, it is hard doing church with a double mask because that's basically what I'm wearing. I am wearing a cloth mask with a medical grade mask underneath it. Um, hey, that's just me. I am, I'm not going to argue with you about mask. I wear my mask when I go into public with a lot of people for a long period of time, I'm double masking. But I have found that sometimes it is hard to breathe through that mask. And especially when you're a woman in your 50s and sometimes you have a little hot flash. So a regular church fan is was just not going to do it for me and let's just say i need to be as comfortable as possible um i'm not a person who would hyperventilate but i do know there have been times where it is just like I, I, there's just sweat coming down my face if i don't find relief so something that i have actually said before is a favorite of mine is my park fan i have used this fan at the well, I don't think I ever, I th got it after we went to the parks. I don't think I got to use it at the park. I think I brought it after we came back because we went in August and it was so hot and so many people recommended this that I was like, I'm gonna get one for our next trip. As you know, I haven't gone on another trip, but I bought this fan. I used it when we had our family reunion one year. And from time to time, even in the house when it seems like my air conditioner is not kicking in like it should. I have propped this little sucker up on the table and used it. Um, so I decided on a whim to put it in my purse and take to church. I'm telling you, I use this thing every Sunday now. Basically, I put it on a low setting with my mask on. While I'm recording, I have it down here like this, but a little further down. And it is just something about the air it has a rechargeable battery in it and the battery lasts a very long time which is surprising to me um i have actually had it in my purse forgotten about it and pulled it out like a month later and it was still working eventually after using it i do have to recharge it but i will say this it's not one of those ones that you worry about the battery running down um really really fast even when it's not in use i have not had any problems with it this one is a uh, tech version and i will put a link below to where you can get it i do know sometimes you can get it in black sometimes you can get it in pink sometimes you can get it in white i think that some shops even have it in red if you want to kind of like stay in the disney theme but at the time i got a pink one um i thought about getting my husband a black one when we went back to the parks uh, but i will honestly say this thing has been a lifesaver so i would definitely recommend this um for the parks but i say use it even when you're not at the parks
Okay, next on my list of favorites for the summer is, as many of you know, we kind of redid our front porch so that my husband could sit outside. But one of the things that we didn't think of at the time was mosquitoes. <laughs> it has been a rainy summer here where we live and the mosquitoes have been like crazy. And for whatever reason, the mosquitoes love my husband. And uh, I reached out to a friend because this was something that I knew was a remedy that we had used, you know, that people used years ago. Um, and, I, and I hadn't used the product in so long that I wondered if it was still around. And so I contacted one of my friends and she said they still carried it. And I asked her, could she send me a bottle? And boy, did she send me a bottle. So I am talking about if you not don't know anything about this product then you'll be actually maybe even surprised i am talking about avon's skin so soft um the original version i'm not sure what is in avon skin so soft but mosquitoes do not like it uh but i don't know what is in skin so soft i actually like the smell of it it's like an oil but there's something in it that deters mosquitoes it is something that um probably 20 years ago i knew about uh but i'm not a big outside person so i wasn't really concerned about mosquitoes but they were tearing him up and so she sent me two bottles of skin so soft and it works it still work uh the formula must not have changed because the mosquitoes do not like it and it has helped with him uh, having to deal with those little bugs and I'll be honest a couple of times when I've gone out there to sit with him they've kind of messed with me I put the skin so soft on and they kind of leave us alone I want to say maybe it has like some citronella in it or something um, I'm not really sure but I tell you what the next time that we go to Florida I'm going to be putting some skin so soft in a little spray bottle and taking with us because it it works still today. Still along the lines of oils, I have a diffuser uh, and I've had it for a couple of years now. It was uh, purchased with one of those top of the line oil companies uh, but over time I really was not using it that much because a small bottle of the oil was sometimes between 15 and 25 dollars and it was just a lot of money and most of the time what I wanted the diffuser for was to just kind of scent my home I'm not using candles as much as I used to just because I did notice that some of them give off like a, um, almost like a gas. And it was starting to like make me cough. It would make my husband cough. My son couldn't, well, the oils that I was using, he couldn't even stand the smell of those. So I was uh, looking around for some alternative oils that would not cost me an arm and a leg but that would still do what I needed them to do. And I had seen this company, uh, I had seen other people talk about this company. I had seen uh, Instagram posts about this company, but most of the time people were talking about their candles. And the candles are not overly expensive, but I wasn't looking for candles, I was looking for oils. and surprise surprise they had oils and the company that I'm talking about is magic candle company and they have so many scents it's ridiculous and a lot of them are like based off of like um, the parks rides and some of the resorts and so I thought I would give them a try I wasn't sure if it was gonna work but they had a promotion and I was able to get them on sale. I think I paid $7.50. And I think at the time there was free shipping, like for no matter what your amount was. And so I picked up four 
of their, or did I get three? Maybe I only got three. I don't know why I thought I had four. But they came in this cute little box. And as soon as you open a box, you can smell the oils. So I've now been using them for about, hmm, been using them now for about, I would say a good two months, maybe a month and a half. And I love them. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the scents. I will be honest with you guys. As many times as I've been to Disney, I don't think I've ever really paid attention to what Disney smells smell like other than the popcorn and, you know, sometimes the sweets at the, at the confectionery shop. But I didn't pay attention to like what pirates water smells like or what even you guys know I love the Polynesian Resort in Ohana. I didn't really pay attention to what Ohana and the Polynesian smell like. But I picked up, let's see, Vera Beach. I love beachy smells. I do not like sweet smells. I like um, floral smells and I love the smell of the beach. So I picked up Vera Beach. Uh, I picked up, what is this one? Caribbean Beach. And I picked up the Polynesian. And I will say the Polynesian one is probably my favorite. I have used it several times. But I will say this. These last a these go very far. Um, I put a couple of drops in my diffuser and it scents my whole downstairs. Like you smell it going down the hall to our bedroom. You smell it in our family room. You smell it in my kitchen. It, it actually works. And it, to me, it works better than the, the, the oils that came with my diffuser. I'm just going to be honest with you. I... I'm actually surprised and it it like gives me that like vacation vibe like I'm smelling them now because they were kind of on my fingers and it just it just I don't, it just it just smells good and that's really all I was looking for I was looking for something to take the place of my candles um, and something that I could put in my diffuser that would not cost that much these are what are the ounces on this this is five mil, two point two fluid ounces, five mil. Uh, and I would highly recommend them. If the candles smell as good as the oils do, uh, it's worth it. And like I said, there are so many different scents on their website. You, I will be, there are some things I order just on a fluke, just to try them out, especially when it comes to Disney. But I'll be honest, I will be ordering these again. That's just how much I like them. It's a, a scent that is not overpowering. It it refreshes my room. I One day there was something, you know, you get that smell in your house and you can't quite figure out what it is. And I have done, I have sprayed before, I've used candles before, and it did not like help with the odor. It didn't really, you know, it kind of masked it for, for a little bit and that was it. I use these oils in my diffuser and the next morning I can still smell that scent throughout my house. So at $7.50 a piece, which, which is what I paid for them, I would highly recommend them. Okay, moving on. My husband and I ended up having to get new phones this year. And we ended up getting phones that don't have the little thing where you can plug in your ear plugs. I don't know why you did that, Apple, but you did it. And I had to come up with a cordless solution. I was not going to spend the money on an Apple iPod, ear pods. Is that what they're called? And then take the risk that I would lose it. I just could not, I, I think I would be sick if I lost it. And I, I've seen enough of my friends who say, you know, they misplace their ear pods 
I don't have time for that. So my husband surprised me for my birthday in April because uh, we had just gotten the phones too. And he brought me, this is Soundcore Life P2 uh, crystal clear cordless earphones, earplugs. <laughs> and this is what the box looks like. And it comes with this cute little charger that you put it in with the cord. And then that's what the earplugs look like. And again, these were under $50. I'm almost positive that he actually paid under $40 for them. And I was skeptical. Mostly because I was skeptical about wearing uh, earbuds with no cords. Because, again, I, I just... I use... I, I lose the ones with the cords. So, I just imagined losing these and there have been a couple of times where i put them down and i had to think to myself no cynthia put them back where they belong so that you are not searching for them they don't get lost in your bed or on the floor and somebody steps on them but they're 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 slightly bigger than the apple ones uh but i will say this they work very well they're not noise counseling but once I have them in my ear, yeah, sometimes I can't hear uh, what's around me. And I went to visit my mom back in early spring uh, when Marcus was in rehab. Well, not early spring, in the early part of the summer. And I was staying with my mom while he was in rehab because where he was was actually closer to my mom than it was to my own home. And there were times at night where I, I had a hard time sleeping. I would turn on my phone and put in some uh, ocean music and put these in my ear and I would go to sleep. They don't hurt my ear. They, they look like they, you know, will be too heavy in your ear, but they're not. And actually I feel more secure with them being the size that they are because I feel like I don't have any issues with um, them falling out. You can adjust, it comes with a, with a couple of little silicone covers so that you can adjust it. And uh, yeah, uh, I can't complain about them. And on the back it says, it is a crystal clear with noise reduction, which I will attest to, it does block out some of the noise, but you can, like if somebody needs you, you can still hear them. It has a seven hour playtime, which is 40 hours with a charging case. Um, you only charge for 10 minutes and you can listen for over an hour. I actually think I get a little bit more time in than that. Um, it has says it has superior sound. Uh, it is waterproof and it's one step pairing, which is absolutely true. You stick them in your ear, you turn on your Bluetooth, your Bluetooth, finds it you connect and you're set ready to go it's very simple to set up um, in the box comes your earbuds your charger case a cord and extra like i said little silicone ear covers um i want to say this was 39.95 and it was worth it the sound is very clear i cannot complain about it at all just letting you know. Okay, now the last actual product that I'm going to talk about. I honestly didn't think this would make it into my favorites because I had hoped that by this time we would not be wearing these anymore. But we still are. It looks like we might be wearing them for a while. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. My favorite mask, I have made masks for myself and they're okay. I have um, gotten masks from people and they're okay. Most of the time people gave me or um, you know, provided masks that look like this. I made a few that look like this. 
but I will be honest with you. The Vera Bradley mask had become my favorite mask to wear. There's a couple of reasons. Um, well, one, it's got all these little cute patterns that I can match up with outfits. Who knew that would be a thing? They offer two styles. So they offer this style that has like a um, little piece that goes over your head and then this goes over your head in the back. It's not around your ear. So it's actually a little bit more comfortable than having it right on your ear. But this is not my favorite. But I did get a couple of patterns like this. I have some in the watch. Wash. That tells you how much I love my Vera Bradley mask because I have so many of them. So I, have, I think I have like four of these, this style. And then I have six or seven of this style. And I even bought some for my husband. Um, and they had some solid colored ones. Uh, but this particular style, I love. I love that it has an adjustable uh, strap on the side so you can tighten it so you make sure that you seal in on all sides like i said i love that it comes in so many different patterns the other feature i like about it that is that you can put a filter in it if you would like and uh several of them not all of them maybe they must be in a watch a few of them even have like an extra bar in the nose part that you can then you know pinch in to keep the nose piece in place so like i said i have now purchased mm, i want to say whoo one two three seven and like okay so this this particular type if you like this type it comes two in a package this one comes one in a package um but i got them when they were on sale because i think everybody thought we're not going to be wearing any mask anymore. I mean, some of them I got for $3. Some of them I got for $4. I think I got these two for, two for $4. Um, these were between $3 and $4. Uh, a regular price is only $8. And sometimes you can catch Bear Bradley's items with free shipping. Uh, with doesn't matter how much you spend. And so a lot of times when I got them, that's what I didn't have to pay any shipping on them. And they are very well made. You can wash them, hang them out to dry, iron them, and then go about your business. And like I said, you can put a filter in it. I love the comfort of them. I double mask with them and I haven't had any issues. Uh, they are, they are, they're holding up well. They wash well. Uh, yeah, if you gotta wear a mask, might as well wear a cute one and might as well be comfortable, so. That is a recommendation from me for Vera Bradley mask. Now I'm gonna talk about two YouTube channels that I have been watching all summer long. Uh, one of them is the Miller family. It is a family that adopted several children of various races and I have just enjoyed watching them all summer my husband even started watching with me he he loves seeing the youngest one laugh and giggle um and i think i found them through tribe of many yeah and so i've been watching them all summer they are now in the process of like uh, building their dream home or refurbishing a home that they brought they moved from texas to tennessee and i've just been watching their journey and they're the cute, a cute it's a cute wholesome no controversy family to watch i have just enjoyed it i i need i need that in my life i need to just watch something that is just for the fun of it and just for the joy of it i don't know about you but yeah that makes all the difference in the world now this other person this other young lady i've been watching she cracks me up my husband and my daughter cannot watch it with me but so long because she is kind of kooky but i like that about her and when you having a bad day go and watch kim i'm talking about kim from the wads i mostly watch her meal prep videos but i love when she goes into thrift stores or she goes to target and she talks about it like i said guys i love um other than disney videos i love watching like lifestyle videos there they have been looking for a house she has shown some of the neatest houses in florida uh 
that used to be a dream of ours to live in Florida. That's no longer a dream. We just decided we're going to stay right where we are. And, but I have loved, I love watching her videos. I wish that I had half the energy that she has. And I love watching her um, prep, meal prep videos. Cause like it gives me ideas of things that I can do for myself. And sometimes I need some new ideas for dinner. Cause you know, being at home all the time, you gotta cook meals. <laughs> And I'm tired of cooking meals. So yeah, sometimes I need, you know, a little couple of ideas of something different to 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 eat. Okay. Uh music. Okay. Just to let you know, I am a Christian. I like all the music, but most of the time I listen, I'm listening to uh to Christian music. And so this may not be your thing, but I have been loving loving listening to Chandler Moore and Tribal Group. Every couple of days, I turn on music. If I'm not listening to some Disney music, then I'm listening to Tribal um, Group. When we were on lockdown and we weren't going to church, I would um, have to find music to put up on our church website. And I always been back to some of their music. It's a group, It's I don't know how to explain it. It's a group of young people and you can just see how exuberant and excited they are about worshiping and the energy that they have. Like, it just fills my soul. I don't know what else to say about it. It just makes me feel so good inside and it got me through a year and a half of lockdown uh i have one app that i want to share and then a tv show that i watched over the summer so the app i love the way plants look but i am not good with plants at all i suck at it they die on me <laughs> i'm just not good at taking care of plants part of that is because I either overwater them or underwater them. And so I was scrolling through, um, I think a YouTuber's channel. I can't even remember now who I was watching. But they mentioned that they use an app called Blossom Plant App. And what they really liked about it was the fact that it gives you a little notification to let you know when to water your plant. So now I only have four plants in my life. I have um, succulents. I seem to do okay with succulents because uh, they don't have to be watered 24-7. <laughs> so I have two succulents outside that Lord willing will come inside this winter and I won't kill them. And then last year for my birthday, my best friend gave me two Christmas um, cactus plants and they have lived. They have not died. <laughs> and so I was doing some research and I found out that you really only have to water them like every three weeks. And I was like, well, that's why they've survived because when I forgot about them, they were still okay. But this app will give you a notification when it's time for you to water them. And I'll be honest, sometimes even then I forget. But like I said, a year and a half later, they're still here. So I would say if I was gonna recommend a plant, if you're not good at keeping plants, Get you a succulent, get you a cactus because you don't have to water them as much. And this will tell you how to take care of them. It will help you find a plant. I think it even has a thing where you can like take a picture of it and it'll help you find that particular plant. Like Because if you're like me, there are some plants you know what they are by look, but then some of them you're like, I don't really understand. It gives you all kinds of information. But one of the things I love the most about it is the fact that it will give me a notification as to when I have to water my plants. So the cactus, I only have to water every three weeks. The other, um, the succulent that I have out on the front porch, I only have to water every two weeks. That reminds me, I probably need to water it now. <laughs> That's how bad I am, guys. Um, but yeah, if, if you love plants, but you're always worried about like how to take care of them, this is an app that you will want to have on your phone.
Okay, the final thing. The only really new TV show that I watched over the summer, um, most of the time I watch YouTube or like, I mean, I watched a lot of Andy Griffin this summer, but TV shows, I watch Secret Celebrity Makeovers. I don't know if you guys know, but I went to school for fashion design and for interior design. And I love shows about redoing rooms or decorating. And I, my husband and I both sat down and started watching this show and like have loved it. Like I, I the stories, I think it's the stories behind um, who the celebrities are doing rooms or houses for that is i think what really got to us um having had people help us this past year um and do things for marcus i think that's what stuck out with for me was watching it was seeing celebrities like you know the people that they care about and you know sometimes it was a parent sometimes it was a teacher someone in their life that affected them that made them want to like do this for this person and it's just been touching it's been fun to watch it's once again it's something clean it's no drama in it it's just you know just pure joy and right now you know i don't know about you but i need a little bit of that and this has kind of like done that for me and so that's my final favorite of the summer and i'm looking forward to the winter you guys know i love the fall and the winter because i love i would rather be cold than hot i've got my shows are coming back for the fall i'm just like super excited i'm looking forward to it i've got things up my sleeve for the next couple of months as far as my disney content um i hope soon if not next year, year after next, please, Lord, I'll be able to travel again. <laughs> I miss traveling, guys. I really do. I didn't think I would miss it as much as I do, but I do miss it. Um, I just want to go somewhere. All right, guys, I editing this video is going to be fun because I just chatted my little head off. So if you like this video, please. Oh, my God, it's an hour long. Okay if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for i am three three you hear that people i am three subscription i'm three subscribers from making 500 subscribers that has been a goal for a couple of years now and my goal i'm setting a goal next year for a thousand but i can't get there until i get past this 500 mark so if you haven't subscribed please if you enjoy my content please subscribe to my videos and and if you want to know when the next video will come out all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below so until i see you next time guys have a blessed day bye